Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and I'm back with a ROM review. This ROM is, as you can see, Slim Bean 4.2.2, uh, which is the Android version it's based off of for the Nexus S. So let's get started. So right here you can go ahead and see some of the info, Slim Bean 4.2.2, build 3, you can see the memory, uh, some stuff about the ROM. And I would first just like to preface this by saying this is not my daily driver, I don't use this, so I'm not going to try to comment about battery life. Um, but if someone down below in the comments wants to leave a comment, uh, if they've used this guy on the Nexus S, um, that would be uh, very welcome. So the first thing we'll go ahead and take a look at is it does have a Slim Bean uh, file manager which is nice if you want to do stuff within um, the system and then the whoops app uh, area although they have something specific for people who want to delete carrier apps or anything like that so there's not too much use here um, but for anybody who wants to access system files as well as uh, SD card files you can do that now upon installation you'll see this launcher icon down here um, this is just to get to the settings of your launcher which I won't go over because you can always install a new launcher if you don't like this one so that's not really ROM specific it's more so launcher specific um, but we will go into the settings and take a look here if we go to more we have everything pretty much the same you have this new NFC polling mode uh, which is an addition that I noticed then you have advanced slim bean settings here you can go to ad interface display and CRT anima uh, animation so that's basically uh, the cathode ray tube is what it's talking about the old CRT television type turn off um, you have a brightness controls you have uh, some rotation options how far you want to be able to rotate it Do you want to be able to rotate it 180 degrees and things like that volume rocker wake wake up on charge you have some general down here uh, the LCD density is something that out of the box is I believe like 160 and it's really weird for me it was really weird um, so if you have a Nexus S and you want to get to uh, you know somewhat normal at least like this how you see here you can go ahead and put it to 240 make sure you follow all these instructions uh, pretty simple and you can put it to 240 to get it to work on the Nexus S you can choose to have high-end gra uh, graphic effects um, low battery warning so you can choose the pop-up and sound how it notifies you of low battery and then recent RAM bar is when you hold the uh, however you get to your, your multitasking uh, it'll ask you how you want this little bar down here to be customized if you have it at all and you have hardware keys I don't have any of these but you can change the actions that these uh, guys will perform once pressed keyboard and input options uh, some more in-depth options for your keyboard rather than just uh, the normal settings you have some lock screen which is similar to CyanogenMod. mod you can choose uh, which widgets are on the lock screen and things like that pressing screen security just takes you to regular screen security um, you have a custom background if you want to do that slider targets um, enable eight slider targets if you want to do that some shortcuts some long pressing so there's a ton of customization there navigation bar I believe the navigation bar is for on-screen buttons, which we don't have here, so we don't need that. Notification drawer, you can customize the style, the power widget, um, quick settings right here if you'd like to go ahead and customize these. Notification shortcuts, uh, show Wi-Fi network name, things like that. Um, sound, and I know I'm going over these pretty briefly. I'm trying to make this a uh, somewhat quick video, more of an overview. Um, less frequent notification sounds, you have lock volume keys, um, you can go ahead and take a look, we have uh, lots of different sound options. Status bar, uh, status bar background style, we can choose uh, colors and things like that for the background when you pull it down. We have the battery icon style, signal status, clock and date, show notification count, um, and then you have Wi-Fi which is just basically uh, something you usually don't need to mess with unless this isn't set to your region so that was an overview of the interface uh, you also have profiles here then you also have this nice quiet hours which I wish uh, stock Android had um, something similar to iOS uh, and and Samsung's TouchWiz how they allow you to program it for certain hours where the certain ringtones or people can't call or get through to you 
Um, you also have your themes right here, and unlike the last drum that you saw me review, it just comes with this one thing. I believe that last drum was Avatar, so if you want to go check that out, that's the name. Uh, you can choose to have the real dark theme, so if we go ahead and toggle that off, you'll see it kind of comes back to the regular Android. Uh, if we toggle that on, it will go back to the dark theme. Uh, you just have your About Slim information right here, the website, the source, um, Twitter, things like that. Slim Center is where you can go. If you have an update, this is where you'd want to go. Then Slim Sizer allows you, as it says, to delete system apps, but use caution always um, that you're not deleting something that the system is dependent on. Uh, so in here, yeah, you can go ahead and delete some apps. Then you have Super User built in um, to minimize the need to install third-party apps for that. Uh, and then you just have your regular device, sound, display, storage, battery apps, uh, and all the rest of your regular settings. So just to go ahead and wrap this up, uh, you'll see there, um, if you saw, when you press the home button and you're at the home, you have the option of uh, seeing all your home panels, which could be, um, I believe, is just a launcher option. So like I said, if you want to install another launcher, you can do that. That's why I didn't really go over those settings. Um, but the device has performed pretty smooth. Um, it is an old device, though, so don't expect it to, um, you can see it scroll infinite scrolling there. So don't expect it to, you know, blow your socks off or, or go blazing fast like anything like the Galaxy S4, One, Nexus 4, anything like that. Um, if you're still using this device and you're looking for a ROM, I would recommend checking this one out because it's pretty cool. Uh, it does have tons of customization for me, honestly. It's too much customization. Uh, I kind of like the Sign Engine mod or the lighter ROMs, Raspberry Jelly, where there's some customization but there's not a ton of it that it's just overwhelming. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give a like, subscribe down there. And I thought about it, and I will be um, going ahead and extending this contest um, to maybe about another another few days to a week. So be sure to share it with your friends if you haven't already. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.